Lou Dobbs has died. I'm seeing reports that Lou Dobbs is dead. I'm sorry I had to break it to you like this. It's Lou Dobbs, Bob Newhart in the same day. But the question on everyone's mind, who's going to be number three? And I have a candidate. I don't know. I mean, there's someone on the, that's on the tip of everyone's tongue here. <sighs> on, last, on our most recent episode, I said I feared the fun would soon be over. Or I was, I was hoping that the comeback Joe would still have some fire left in him. But, like, folks, today, I fear he may be going out like Stan Chera. <laughs> we, have, so we have several Stan Chera situations developing. And we'll give you the news as it breaks. But right now... It's, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, Joe Biden heads. I, I've, I've tried to support our president. I, I've tried to support democracy. But the elites in the party and, and in his brain are going to take it from us. <laughs> let's all, all of us, on Monday, let's skip school. <laughs> all of us who are in middle school, like me, let's skip school and let's go to NBC News. Let's go to Lester Holt's office. Let's go up to Lester Holt and all of us, all 5,000 of us middle schoolers, we all say what President Biden defiantly said to Lester Holt. We say, Havudabububa. <laughs> Let's all say, Havudabububa. The look on Lester Holt's face will be epic. And they'll know we stand with Joe. Yeah. All, all my middle school homies out there, no more homework until Biden is, is accepted as the nominee. No more homework. All my little battle fellas out there, we're going yeah. to the battle box. All the battle fellas, we're go there is going to be a general strike in Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to shoot at each other until we get assurances that Biden will be the nominee. We're laying, we're laying down all our, all, all our minis, all our chug jugs. We're not even, we're not, that will not pass our lips until Biden is the nominee. Absolutely not. We have some really exciting stuff. We're going to be doing dual power in Roblox. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember dual power? It's coming back and it's in Roblox. <laughs> He's uh, dead, right? Um, Amber, this is it's, death of Stalin, right? It's not. It's not looking great. I, I, <laughs> I, I still have. I still have some hope. I still have some hope that look. Obviously, Kamala. She she's right there waiting in the wings. But here's what can happen: Joe Biden can step aside as the president. Kamala steps into that role. Who does she appoint as her vice president? That's right, Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. He's back. Oh, oh, and, and, and then when she comes in the White House, she'll resign. He'll become president again. Finally, a bridge back to where we started. Oh, and then in 2080, the, uh, 2028. 2028, when like we think, you know, the, the era of good feelings is over, the party's over. Joe Biden can run for Speaker of the House of Representatives. <laughs> what if we appoint and him to the Supreme Court? I don't want that. Yeah. I, I want him to be speaker. So the next Gavin Newsom and J.B. Pritzker, they both commit suicide <laughs> and Joe Biden becomes president again at age 90. <laughs> 20, 2032. I, mean, I want Kamala to be there. I want her to be president. I mean, mostly because I don't want TV to get that again. But also, how good would it be for Hillary Clinton to see a different female president? Oh, oh, I mean, oh that's God. she would yeah. just she would bite her own tongue off. Oh, well, that would be the most passive aggressive phone call in history. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could yeah. you? Well, I bet it's pretty exciting for you. Um, ha <laughs> you know, having your kids in the or wait, they're your stepkids, right? They're not even your kids. <laughs> Did they write any children's books? Yeah, yeah. It's, oh my God. I think that has to happen. Like, I am sad to see Joe go, but I think we all saw, we all saw the clip of him getting on Air Force One in performance mode. <laughs> where he was, he was um, in 30 frames per second. Uh, you know, I don't know what happened. I don't know how he defied the laws of optics to um, be rendered in Dreamcast like that. <laughs> But I, um, it's not looking good, and I will be. I'm very sad to see him go. But that is a good consolation prize. Yeah. Wouldn't like that be like fun though? Like the party definitely wouldn't be over. We'd have President drunk milf stepmom. Like that would be so fun. She has a genuine laugh. I don't think it's fake. No, yeah. I don't think no, she no, is either. Rolling. Yeah. She is rolling. Yeah. No. All that stuff she finds legitimately funny. Oh, like yeah. a like a big bus. She's like, <laughs> she's like, oh, the bus is so big. That's so it's, funny. It's I, delightful. I think it is safe to say though that Joe Biden 
is about to become unburdened by the context of what's come before him. <laughs> yes, true. Well, that that is that that's such a good phrase for her because that it literally probably does describe like Biden's I- attempted inner monologue. Mm. <laughs> like that's probably what he's telling himself. You know, whenever my favorite Biden moments are when he's making a speech uh, and he knows that he fucked up. Yeah. When he's up there and he's like, um, former Trump, not seriously lingered. And you can see like in his eyes, he's like, God damn it, Mac, you fucked up again. <laughs> anyways, probably, he does the anyways. Anyways. Yeah. anyways. That's probably what he's like. His his neurologist was like, you have to remember you are part of a context of things that came before you. And he's like, oh, yeah. 